Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Nidhi, a corporate trainer, NLP coach and a sound therapist. Until recently, I used to be a proud Singapore girl. Well, yes, I used to fly with Singapore Airlines, one of the best airlines in the world. I flew with the airline for 10 years, five years as a non-ranking crew, got promoted to a leading stewardess, was there in that role for another five years. I also used to be a trainer with Singapore Airlines for almost about six years. And here I am today to share my experiences, my tips with all of you, because what better use can I have with all that experience but to share it with you guys. And if being a cabin crew is your dream, I can help you to make it into a reality. Hello everyone. So today's video is all about what to wear for your big day, which is the interview day. I'm gonna tell you for female and male cabin crew, what are the do's and the don'ts in terms of the attire that you're going to wear, your jewelry, your accessory, uh, you know, all the questions that have been asked all these while by all of you, my subscribers and a lot of other people that have been helping with all the interview tips. Uh, you know, I have had questions whether I could wear a blazer, I could wear a jacket, whether I should wear a skirt, I should wear a trouser. So that is the reason I specially made this video so I can tell you guys in a little more detail as to what can make you stand out on that big day, which is your interview day. Now, when we're talking about the interview day, this is not just specifically for the final day of the interview. Uh, we're also talking about all the preliminary round. The things that I'm gonna talk about are both uh, equally uh, valuable and suited for all the times that you're gonna turn up for uh, any round for that uh, interview, which is the cabin crew interview. And uh, we're gonna get one step closer to making that dream into a reality for you. So let's talk about uh, female cabin crew, uh, the do's and the don'ts. Let's start off with the clothing, the attire. Um, now you could uh, either wear a suit piece uh, with a, like a shirt or a blouse and you can pair it up with maybe a skirt or a trouser and then just uh, top it up with a jacket. So basically that's a suit, a suit piece. That's like a custom suit piece or you could probably just get a suit piece from uh, the shop itself where like it comes uh, all in a set so they will pair up the trouser and the jacket for you and then you know you can pair it up with the shirt or the blouse that you'd like to wear however uh, the jacket here is an optional thing or a blazer is an optional thing remember whatever you're wearing on the inside which is your blouse or your shirt it has to look professional if you're wearing a suit piece uh, let's stay with neutral colors so uh, let's stay with like dark browns or navy blue or black uh, and uh, for your blouse as well uh, remember to wear light colors like maybe you could go for like a light blue or a, or a baby pink or maybe a white uh, and also remember when you're trying to put this together it should complement you have to make sure that whatever you're wearing looks like uh, an assemble which uh, looks professional. Uh, there are times that you would want to wear a stocking if you're wearing a, s a skirt especially. Uh, so remember when you're wearing the stocking, uh, two things are very, very important. One, match your stockings that you're wearing to either your skin color. So for me, because uh, I'm a little tan, I usually wear tan color stockings. However, there's another perspective to look at it, which means uh, if you're wearing a dark color suit piece, for example, like a black color suit piece, uh, wearing a tan stocking sometimes uh, looks a little bit off if you haven't matched the color of the stocking to your skin color perfectly. Well, in those cases, you can actually opt to go for a black stocking. All right, let's talk about shoes and handbags. Now, uh, let's go classy yet professional with the shoes, ladies. Uh, avoid wearing all the strappies and, uh, you know, uh, decorative shoes with studs and stuff. Let's just go for simple pumps. Uh, for the heels, again, uh, if you are a little, sh little on the short side, you can go for a higher heel. Uh, however, I would recommend that uh, stay within the range of three to four inches. It'll be a little too difficult for you to walk with those heels for the rest of the day. That's another thing to take note of. Uh, so go with pumps, uh, preferably covered shoes is the best because uh, you know when uh, you have your stockings and uh, they get torn in the front sometimes 
again a tip for you uh, it's best to go with covered shoes then you can cover those little flaws also when it comes to your shoes remember to match it with your uh, whole attire as well uh, remember the handbag that you're carrying also plays an important part uh, which brings us to the handbag uh, so again when it comes to handbags remember uh, to carry a medium sized bag it doesn't make any sense to carry a huge bag also at the same time it doesn't make any sense to carry like a small bag because uh, if you watched my earlier videos I have talked about the things that you would need to carry for the day of the interview that would include your portable makeup uh, umbrella uh, your uh, resume and a few other things that you might need for the day of the interview so it's good to have a medium-sized bag so go for neutral colors just go for like a simple professional handbag All right, so let's talk about the do's and don'ts, starting off with the clothing. Again, uh, quite similar to ladies, uh, except for the fact that you don't wear skirts. <laughs> you only wear uh, shirts with trousers, uh, no t-shirts, uh, strictly shirts with trousers. Wearing a jacket again is optional. Again, you could either go with like a custom suit or you could just get a suit off the market. So if you're getting a suit off the market, it will probably come paired with the trousers. So you don't have to think about it too much and you could just pair a shirt that you think fits the best. Uh, but if you're doing a DIY, like you're uh, putting up a trouser and a jacket uh, and a shirt together, uh, that's good as well. Just remember the color combination. Uh, for your jackets, again, don't go with really flashy colors. Stay with neutral colors like uh, dark blue or maybe a dark brown or a black. Uh, these would be the suggested colors that you could play with. Uh, but again, a jacket or a blazer is optional. If uh, you just want to go with just a shirt and a trouser, that's perfectly fine as well. Uh, now let's talk about the shirt that you'll be wearing on the inside. Again, stay with neutral colors, no flashy colors. It'll be easier for you to match it with, with the jacket as well if you're wearing one. So let's stay with like, again, baby pinks, or I know a lot of guys don't wanna wear baby pink, but trust me, it looks, it looks like a nice classy color for the interview. Uh, so go with like subtle pink, or maybe just a light blue or a white uh, for the shirt. Again, if you're wearing a jacket, guys, remember two important things to take note of. Uh, the sleeve of your jacket should not go past your knuckles, the way to look for the right size of the sleeve for your jacket. And when you're wearing a jacket, always, always wear a shirt inside to see the right fit for yourself because the shirt also uh, should be seen about half an inch outside of the sleeve of the jacket. Okay, very important. Remember, you have to wear a tie. Uh, there is no choice. So remember, when you're wearing a tie, don't wear a lot of patterns or don't go for like uh, really flashy colors. Go with simple colors uh, that can be easily blended in with your attire. Uh, you can wear patterns, but just don't go overboard with the patterns. Uh, when it comes to your shoes, again, stay with neutral colors. You can go for like dark browns or you could even go for like really dark blue or black color. Again, socks is very important, guys. Don't go without the socks <laughs> because when you sit down, uh, your pants definitely are gonna go up a little bit and your socks would be visible. So remember uh, to wear socks that are uh, not too short in terms of the length so your skin is not visible and remember to match it with the whole attire as well. If you're wearing like a black shoe, don't wear a light brown sock. The belt, very, very important guys. Uh, don't go to the interview without the belt. And the rule of the thumb here is that your belt ideally should match your shoe. If you're wearing like brown shoes, match your belt uh, uh, to be a brown belt. Well, you could you could be a two shades darker or two shades lighter. It doesn't mean that it has to be an exact shade. Handbags, uh, keep it classy guys. Don't go for like those uh, sling bags or gym bags just go for really really classy and professional looking bags you can definitely sling them on your shoulder you don't really have to carry them in your hand all the time but either or just make sure uh, they're not too big they're not too small just good size to fit all the stuff that you need for the rest of the day for the interview but at the same time you're able to carry it with ease uh, talking about accessories some things that are common for both male and female is the watch remember uh, to wear a watch at all times. Uh, don't go with funky watches. Let's go with a really classy and professional looking watches. And as a cabin crew, you're required to wear a watch. It's an essential, it's a must. So for my female cabin crew friends, the dial uh, shouldn't be too big. And for my male cabin crew friends, you can go for a rather bigger dial, but remember uh, the strap should be either a metal or a leather strap, but not really something which is very decorative or studded. 
uh, talking about my female cabin crew friends, you would uh, require to wear earrings. But when it comes to earrings, don't really wear junky jewelries or big loops. Just go with like really small studs or it could be a diamond or like a, a, a normal stud. Uh, like with very little embellishments. Uh, my male cabin crew friends, please don't wear earrings. <laughs> uh, but overall, in terms of accessories, try and avoid wearing uh, a lot of accessories, like if you wear bracelets and necklaces uh, and stuff like that, just avoid wearing all these for the day of the interview. Uh, rings are okay, but like maybe stick to just one ring or a two ring. Uh, two rings, just don't go overboard with the rings as well. Let's talk about the don'ts. Uh, all right, guys, remember, no flashy colors. I've been saying this all the while. Don't go to the interview with like a bright green blouse or maybe a, a, a really starky yellow up shirt. Uh, stay away from patterns, very, very important because then they could be very, very distracting. My feeble cabin crew friends also avoid wearing like plunging necklines. Don't go for really, really tight skirts and a really short skirt. Don't be too casual, uh, no jeans. Uh, don't fold up your uh, or don't roll up your shirt. Uh, this is not about showing off or flaunting. It's about looking professional. The other things to look out for and definitely avoid is all the facial piercings. So if you have like a nose ring or, you know, two, three uh, piercings on your ear, uh, completely, completely avoid all of that uh, because idly speaking, you're not supposed to have any piercing on your body. At the same time, you're not supposed to have any tattoos on your body as well. But if you do, that's not really a deal breaker. So all that you need to do is just make sure you avoid wearing things that make your tattoos visible. And if you can, just cover them up a little bit with the concealer. Okay, for my male cabin crew friends, please avoid wearing all your chunky belts. And your belts should be really, really classy just keep them simple with simple buckles don't go for like uh, a superman or uh, a batman belt <laughs> remember guys when it comes to handbags that's another important accessory uh, don't carry colors that are really really flashy or uh, something that's really really decorated shoes again uh, go for really classy looking uh, business shoes when it comes to my female cabin uh, crew friends as much as you love those high heels and strappies and decorative sandals it's a no-no here uh, please avoid the sports shoes or the flip-flops or the loafers when it comes to male cabin crew friends or even slip-ons all right guys uh, this brings us to the end of the uh, video but uh, another important thing that i would definitely want you guys to wear throughout the day is your smile and i always say this a smile can break make and break a lot of things so remember to carry that beautiful smile because that smile is what's going to get you there and it's going to complement the whole attire that you have put in so much of effort to put together and present yourself to this interview. And of course, not to mention uh, the right fragrance or the right perfume or the right cologne. Remember guys, body odor can really, really put people off and especially your interviewers because uh, in this job, you interact with a lot of people uh, throughout the day. You really come up and close to a lot of people. So body odor is something that the interviewers or your employers definitely do not want. So uh, wear the right perfume, wear the right deodorant, ensure that you have something that keeps you fresh the whole day. Uh, apart from all of this that I've mentioned here, uh, this is something that I'm a big fan of and I always tell everyone to do this because this is what makes you stand out from the rest of the people, is to be able to carry yourself with the right attitude, the right confidence, the right knowledge and the right passion. I really hope I was able to share some valuable information with you and this helps you to crack that interview and do your best on that day that matters to you the most. So stay tuned, keep watching. I'll be sharing a lot more videos, a lot more experiences. If you still haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, please do like the video and do share the video with your friends. In the meantime, stay happy, stay stylish and keep watching. Love you guys. Bye.